Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Eric Surf 6. Welcome to Eric Meal Time. In today's episode, it's going to be the Japanese supermarket. Let's check it out. We are hooked up at the beach here. You can hear the surf in the background maybe, and the total price for this is 2,048 yen. So that's about 19 US dollars. Yep, it's gonna be a feast. Let's start out with the most expensive item, shall we? At 398 yen, that's about $3.75, is the Chu Toto Fatty Tuna. There it is, the fatty tuna. It's shifted around in there a little bit, but yeah, this is a treat. I never get this. Comes with some gutty or pickled ginger. Careful not to eat the little artificial grass garnish. Made that mistake before a couple times. Next, I'm gonna show you the show you. Hit it with soy sauce. You only get four pieces, but these are really nice thick slices of fish here. Look at that. Going in. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my, oh my. Chutoto is absolutely the best sushi. At least it's my favorite. Look at this piece. Mm. Oh, so good. Oh, this is a big fatty piece. Go for a bit of the ginger here. Nice. Yum me. Okay, last piece for you guys. Go ahead, get in there, help yourselves. This is less than a dollar a piece, which is amazing for fatty tuna. Oh, it's a meat log. Melts in your mouth, fabulous. Next up is yakitori. This is called skune, which is sort of a minced chicken, and it's usually really delicious. A lot of volume going on here. Tastes like meatloaf. <laughs> Chicken meatloaf, if you will. I love that sauce. Oh, that's fabulous. Mm. Chicken on a stick for the win. Yakitori number two. This one is called Negima. I believe it is chicken breast and onions. Mm -hmm. Nice combo. Oh, the chicken and the onion go so well together. Oh, I definitely recommend this. If you're gonna try yakitori, negima is one of my favorites. It's the long onion. It's got a bitterness to it. Good. Mm, oh, and that chicken. Very nice. Next up are Jumbo Gyoza Dumplings. These look fabulous, yep. And it comes with two types of sauce to put on. So this is a shoyu. And then we've got a, like a vinegar. An oily vinegar. Oh yeah. So what's nice about the dumplings is you've got it's, it's pan fried like this and then it's soft here. So you get a crispiness on the bottom and a softness on the top, it's very nice. minced pork and some vegetables in there. Mm. Oh, this is some hard to eat. Typically gyoza is eaten with ramen. You get a set. Here's the appetizer right here. We should have had these first. Oh well. Some greens. Edamame. Oh yeah. The size of that thing. These are massive. Good sized beans. Yeah. 
They're just so good when you eat them fresh like this. Oh yeah. They're everywhere in Japan. I get them at supermarkets, you get them at convenience stores, you get them at restaurants. Mm. Yummy. Today's drink is salty lychee. Here it is, the English salty lychee. Mm hmm. These are the lychees right here. I've had this before a long time ago, but I forget what it tastes like. Oh, it's creamy. Creamy and juicy lychee from Okinawa Sea Salt, too. Hmm. Very pleasant. Yeah, it's almost like a, a sports drink, like a Gatorade kind of thing, but salty rather than sweet. It's got a nice tartness to it. I like lychee a lot. It's a good drink. Yeah, salty lychee. Next up is something that I rarely eat in Japan. It's an American product. It's called the American Dog, which in English I suppose is a corn dog, right? But yeah, American Dog. <laughs> it's super sweet. It actually tastes more like cake than it does like cornbread. It's good. Almost like a dessert. Can hardly taste the hot dog because the cornbread is so overpowering. It's really delicious. <laughs> Next up is a little pizza. It's got lots of goodies. Oh, it's a colorful looking pizza with the paprika on there, the green peppers. What else? There's some chunks of bacon. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah. It's going in. Oh, got onion. Raw onion. Put shrimp on there. A bit on the soggy side. Yeah. Meh. Next up is an apple pie that's 20% off. Oh yeah, I couldn't pass that up. Hmm. The apple pies in Japan are fabulous. Yep, they're all pretty standard like this. Mm, they're all amazing. I've never had a bad one. Oh, the filling. There's cream in there too. Custard cream and apple. Oh, so good. The custard and the apple go together so well. Mmm. Oh. So sweet. Japanese apple pie is banging for sure. Got one more dessert item here. This is a traditional sweet. It looks like manju. Very cool looking sweet. I bet it's gonna have anko. Yeah, there it is. Anko bean paste. Mm-hmm. Sweet beans. Oh. It's got walnuts in it too. Yum. Oh. And there's some caramel in it too. This is really nice. Mm-hmm. A step up from the typical Azuki sweet bean paste. Let's just polish this off. Oh. It's got some crunch to it. This is a winner. Glad I got this. Made by the Nakamura Company. Mm. Oh yeah. So that is going to do it for this meal. I am definitely full. That was amazing for $19. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed the chiutoro at the beginning. That was fabulous. And the yakitoris were both nice as well too. The bakery items, it was a pretty good meal overall, I would say. On my rating scale, one to six Eric heads, I think I'm gonna go five, five out of six Eric heads on this one. Pretty good eats for the value. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, I look forward to reading your comments. We shall see you in the next one. Hey, thanks for making it all the way to my end screen. So now what? Well, click around, watch a few more videos. How about checking out my Patreon account? Links are all right there on the screen. Cheers and beers, team. Get some. <laughs>